Again, I want to show you how to install a custom Google or a custom font that's not Google. It's one that you've either purchased or downloaded through another website. Now, on the back end, you're going to want to install the font plugin. I know it's just so simple, the name, um, but it's font. I cannot pronounce that man's name, but once you've got it in there, it's like pretty much easy. You don't have to do anything with the settings, okay? You'll go to the front end of your website and you'll see font settings and you'll click and you'll get this little dialog box. Pick any element. All right, so I'm gonna click on that and it highlights different areas on the site. I'm going to click the area I want to edit and here's my navigation. So we'll give it a name and we'll say OK. And then I want to add to the section. So I'm going to click on choose a font and upload. And I've already saved the font that I want to my desktop. So I'm going to click on it. It's either an OTF file or an OTT file. And I'm going to choose and I'm going to Upload. Here's the font, Vario. So I'm going to click on it. And now, voila, I have this new font. One thing to note in Divi, if you have your logo on the side, sometimes it gets in the way of being able to grab that font um, to highlight it. If it does, you can switch it to like the centered version and then you can access this and then you can move the font back and you do that in your theme customizer. So good luck, have fun, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.